How's it going everyone? So today's video, um, I'm gonna be doing something fairly quick. I've been really busy with a lot of other stuff, but this is something that comes up a lot in the comments and something I wanna address. It's hard for me to explain in the comments, so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. It's something you may have already noticed or know how to do, but it's a little trick that I've used to make sure you get your LEDs oriented the correct way so that you have a good cutoff. And you guys will notice we're in a new workspace with new lighting, I'm gonna be sharing that video Hopefully um, that'll be the next video where I'll show uh, what I did in here to get all this lighting and to get it this bright. But anyways, with today's video, this is what I wanna show you. So in the fog lights, you have to make sure you have this correct orientation. So if I can get it straight on, you want the bulb to be straight up and down with each LED facing um, to either side. So this way and this way, you want the it to be situated that way. So it's gonna be shining to the left and to the right, sorry, I got my mixed up, but to the right, to the left, and it's gonna be straight up and down. And you guys might be saying, hey, how do I get that straight up and down? I'm gonna show you uh, a little trick that I've found that you can sneak these in to make sure that they uh, sit this way. Some of the more expensive LEDs, um, the JDM uh, Star ones, have an actual uh, set screw on them. If I can whip them out quick enough for you guys. So this is some of the JDM Star stuff. And you don't have to do what I'm about to show you. So that one's empty. Let me see if I got one more for you guys. Because this is kind of what separates some of the cheaper ones. But either way, I'll show you guys how you can make do with the cheap ones. Because that's what I'm having right now. So see here. And you have the three uh, different size tabs, right? You have um, usually the larger one, the medium one, and the small one. So most of the times, they only go in one way. What some of these companies like JDM and Star does is see this little set screw. They allow you to position um, the collar wherever you want to make sure that you get your LED bulbs in the right orientation. But um, if you don't have one of those set screws, I'm gonna show you this little trick that you can do. So another thing too, just to add before I get into that, is a lot of people are tell, are, have said that um, their aftermarket LED bulbs are very loose in the housing. What you should do is switch over the rubber gasket from your stock halogen bulbs to these um, or to any LED light. It makes a better gasket, it makes them tighter and it makes a better seal. It's just something I've come across. A lot of these LED companies, they try to put thinner gaskets so, just so you don't run into any issues. So it'll fit easy um, as opposed to a thicker gasket which is a better seal but some people struggle with it. So anyways, swap over your stock gaskets from your um, OEM halogen bulbs and let's go into what I wanna show you guys. So if you look down here, hopefully we can see. I might have to get a light. All right, so it looks like you guys can see what I'm about to do. So what I wanna show you is this. When you take the bulb out, you usually have different pegs, right? You can see that I turned it um, the usual degree to get it out, but for whatever reason, it's not coming out. And that's because what I did was I snuck the larger peg into the smaller hole. You guys can insert dirty jokes here, but um, what I did was it was supposed to go a certain way, and you can see I just took it out there, but um, I managed to get it in a di different way. So we have the large peg here, the medium one there, and then the small one here. And that's different than the orientation here. You can see I have the largest peg here, medium and small. And I ended up cheating it by inserting the bulb on an angle because you can see it doesn't really want to go in like this. But what I do is I go like this and I manage to turn it back like this. See how I put it on an angle? So I put the skinniest one at the top and my medium one in the smaller hole like this and see how it doesn't really want to go in this way and it's sitting sideways but what you can do is look I got these two in but this one doesn't fit right keep it on an angle turn it all of a sudden it fits in and then we're locked and loaded so this is just a little trick that I've done another easy way that you can accomplish the same thing is to just trim this tab 
So just trim it so that it's a little bit smaller. Don't cut the whole thing off, but just make it the size of say a medium tab and it'll still lock in, but it'll allow you to do what you're trying to do. So a lot of people are asking me about the cutoff and stuff like that, because if you don't put it in this orientation, you'll get a weird beam pattern. So you want to make sure it's in an orientation I showed you a minute ago and you can achieve that cheating by doing what I'm showing you here. So otherwise it's supposed to go in technically this way. See how it fits perfectly in this way. But if you put it in and you turn it and you go up to the top, you're not going to have the orientation that you want. Like so. It's going to end up landing all crooked and crazy like that. Or you can see the LED is facing up. So that's a trick that you guys can use. Again, I'll show you. If I go back in here. This is the trick you can use to get that the correct way. Let's see. So there you go. Get my camera in position here. And again, you can take it out. Sneak it this way. See like that. Turn it so you tuck two of the tabs in. The top one and this one are tucked. Then you turn it with the bulb on an angle. That one drops in. Now we're in, and if we go up top, it's what we want. Boom, so you have the LED chip perfectly on the side. And we accomplish the same thing on the other side with the same trick. So this one is perfectly, you can see the LED chip on the side. They're on both sides and it is perfectly positioned. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Any questions about that stuff, be sure to ask a question in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it or somebody else usually beats me to it. But as always guys, thanks so much for watching. We're also on Instagram, same spelling, at Boosted Motorsports, or we're on Facebook group too, but wherever you wanna follow along is cool with me. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video in this garage.